If you want to learn how to make money from licensing your music so it gets placed on films, TV shows, and a bunch of other things, then this video is for you. Now, music licensing isn't for everyone and it can be difficult to understand. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through it in a clear and easy way so that you can figure out if it is for you. For great insider tips on getting your music onto film and TV, subscribe to the Music for Income channel and hit that bell to be notified when we post a new video. I'm Michael from Music for Income. I'm a professional TV composer and I've run a successful production music library for around 14 years now. Music libraries are simply the companies who sign composers and producers tracks and get them placed on films and TV shows and elsewhere. So I'll be able to help you understand music licenses from a 360 degree perspective. So let's get going. All you need is a decent home studio setup, it can be quite simple. I'm running Logic, uh, some of you guys are using Cubase, Ableton, GarageBand, whatever it is. After that, you just need to be comfortable producing up whatever kind of music it is that you make. So what is music licensing? In this video, we'll be talking about licensing your music to production music libraries. Production music means music to go on productions, so films, TV shows, commercials, and such like. Now, this doesn't mean cheesy jingles. We're talking about two minute pieces of music across a whole load of genres. Could be anything from rock to hip hop to orchestral. Production music libraries are companies who have this production music in almost every genre you can think of on their websites, where their clients can search all these tracks and find exactly the kind of music they need. So let's say a TV show is looking for music. They'll probably go to one of those music libraries to find the right kind of tracks to use within their program. They'll pay the library to license the track to use on their show, but it's only a license, so the TV show don't own the track, and that's the beauty of it. Your tracks can get licensed over and over in a whole bunch of shows. Now that the TV show has chosen and downloaded its tracks, it's the editor of the show that will chop and edit your music to fit a certain sequence. Maybe it's a rock track under some bikers on a food road trip, maybe it's a hip hop track under an interview with a rapper, or maybe it's a film music type orchestral track under some amazing scenic documentary footage. Note that it's nearly always instrumental tracks as opposed to songs with vocals that are licensed from music libraries. So editors are often the people involved in deciding which library tracks they're going to use on their TV shows and so are important people to impress with our music. But impressing them doesn't mean writing clever music. It means writing music that's really usable to them. Now, if you're interested in how to write really killer production music, for music libraries that will get used and licensed over and over again. I'll give you a great free resource for that at the end of this lesson. But for now, let's talk about how you're going to get paid for writing for music libraries. When a music library is interested in including one or more of your tracks within its catalogue, it'll usually pay you up front in one of two ways. They'll either give you a one-off payment, typically $150 to $500 per track, but this can vary quite a bit, or they'll split any income with you as it comes to them from licensing that track to a client. On top of this, you'll get royalties as well. Once a music library want to work with you, you'll qualify to join your country's royalty organization. Once you've done this, your royalty organization will work with the music libraries and the TV shows directly to track, collect, and pay you your royalties automatically. You don't have to do anything. You get royalties when any program with your music on is broadcast, and that includes every time the show is repeated or shown in other countries. So you end up getting paid over and over for every used track. 
How much can you expect to receive in terms of royalty income? Well, there are a few factors involved in that. The amounts that you'll receive here are often calculated in per minute chunks. So the longer your track is used for in the show, the more money you'll receive. Royalty rates for bigger, more popular channels and networks are higher than those for smaller ones. The time of day that the program containing your music is shown can also affect the royalty rate, with primetime hours often paying you more than if the show airs outside of these hours. As an example, let's use my home country of England. So let's say that your music finds its way onto a program that airs on BBC One, which is one of the main channels out there. And it airs during prime time, which is considered 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. in this case. So the total per minute rate generated in this case is around $110 per minute of music used. Now, if you're on one of the smaller channels over there, let's say Bloomberg, the prime time per minute rate would be around $20. But don't forget that you could be writing one track that goes out on multiple programs in different countries and those are all then repeated and each of those events will trigger you more royalty income. So can you see why I was saying that music licensing can be a very lucrative business? Library music is not a get rich quick scheme. But if you are looking for a get rich quick scheme, I can tell you, you're going to get overtaken by the people who decide to do this. See, what you wanna do is find a group of quality music libraries. It doesn't have to be very many and supply them with as good a music as you possibly can. You remember those TV editors we spoke about before? You're gonna to need to supply them with tracks that are really TV friendly. So that means they need to be constructed in a certain way that is gonna be useful to those editors. You can't just write whatever you write and send it in. That's not gonna be able to work in this context, no matter how good your music is. You need to know how to construct these tracks. Secondly, you need to know how to approach these big music libraries. You see you're not gonna be the only producer vying for the attention of these music libraries. And so many producers just spam out emails and that's not the way to do it. Also, on top of this, there are going to be libraries out there who just aren't very good libraries. How do you know who they are? You see, if you choose to send your music to a library that isn't actually very good or very well connected, it doesn't matter how much time and effort you put in and how good your music is. It's just gonna sit on a shelf somewhere. So to help you with these things, I've teamed up with some of the best in the industry to make an online resource, which is a complete A to Z of a successful career in production music. You can hear expert advice from folks from BMG Production Music in LA, six figure a year award-winning music composers showing you the exact formulas they use to construct their tracks, plus, Emmy nominated TV editors from hugely successful shows telling you what music they're looking for. I've rolled this up into an amazing online course and it's been partnered by big name software companies such as Native Instruments, East West and Waves. The lessons have already had ringing endorsements from film scoring professors at NYU in the States and the Royal College of Music in London, England. I'd like to give you three free lessons from this right now. So if you think after watching all of this that you'd like to get your music onto film and TV shows, then click on the link in the description below and we'll talk about how to get your music from wherever it is now into really irresistible production music for film and TV. And all of this, of course, you can do from your home studio. Also, for more resources, check out the production music playlist here on the Music for Income YouTube channel. And and don't forget to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video and share it with your friends too. Catch you next time.